Hey guys, welcome to another video and this time continuing with our, our chapter of financial maths. Uh, we're going to look at uh, additional forms of payment. Um, in this case, it's uh, we've got piecework, commission, royalties, loadings and bonuses. And uh, I'm just kind of lumping them all together uh, just because I think that the, the context and application is, is quite straightforward and simple. Um, a lot of similarities. Uh, it's just, a, I guess, you know, how to apply it and what each of them are. So I'm going to start with piecework. Okay, piecework is, I guess, based on quantities. So thinking of um, the number of jobs that you do. Okay, so the number of jobs will uh, indicate how much you get paid in the end. The more jobs, the, the more you get paid. And if you can squeeze more jobs within the same amount of time, your hourly rate is going to be a lot higher. Obviously, you don't get paid per hour, but you want to have a faster turnover uh, to get paid more for that day. So, for example, if we have 16, um, if we have a delivery guy and, you know, delivering pizzas, who knows? Um, and he gets paid, uh, he does 16 deliveries in a shift. And he gets paid $52. Uh, a good question would be, well, what is, uh, how much does he get paid per job? Well, 52 divided by 16 is going to give you $3.25. So it's not much, but when you think about Uber Eats and your menu log, DoorDash and uh, what, what have you, um, Deliveroo, $3.25 per delivery isn't going to be much. And then uh, let's say uh, this person gets, uh, he's working from 5 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. So it's a, an evening shift. People who are having dinner or late night meals, uh, that's, you know, $52 divided by the five and a half hours that he works. Is getting paid nine dollars forty-five per hour. So that rate, you know, not not the best when it comes to hospitality. But then hospitality in itself is uh, isn't uh, fantastic. Um, Three dollars twenty-five, nine dollars forty-five uh, per job. But I guess you know, depending on where the jobs are, if you if they're all local and close by, and you can squeeze more, obviously the hourly rate is going to be a lot higher. But that's not um, your hourly rate isn't really the indicator of how much you get paid. In this case, it's how many deliveries that you do. Okay, uh, another example could be, uh, let's say you know seven dollars twenty. And for, I guess, 20 jobs, whatever those jobs are, obviously you multiply them together, it's $144, okay? It could be, uh, let's say you're making some jewelry, okay? A lot of people on Instagram and other platforms, uh, they're doing some arts and crafts. So 20 pieces, 20 pairs of earrings at $7.20 per, per set, and you get $144, okay? Um, then let's say you have another option where this is how much you get in total um, and this is how much it costs per per box that you're you're selling I don't know uh, let's say box of donuts it's only probably only a couple of few donuts in there so a box of donuts uh, you get paid two hundred dollars in total uh, the question is well how many boxes did you sell uh, you're going to divide uh, one by the other so you've got 27.78. Obviously, you can't have decimals. So whether it asks you to round up, it's really not feasible. Um, but then, obviously, whole boxes, we're looking at 28 boxes, uh, 27 boxes full. So we could say estimation is approximately 28, but uh, the minimum or the maximum full boxes when we round off to whole digits is 27. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys in terms of piecework. Uh, we're going to move on to uh, commission. And commission um, is very common in the real estate industry and any other, other places, many other businesses and workplaces as well. Uh, but real estate is a, is a very common one. Um, you sell, you've got real estate agents, they're selling houses, and if they can sell at a particular price, 
um, they hit a certain minimum benchmark, they're going to get a, as a bonus, a, a commission, a percentage of that profit uh, into their pockets. Uh, obviously, the higher the price they can sell the house, the more commission they get. Or just like piecework, the more houses that they can sell in a short, short period of time, the more commission they're going to get as well. So their approach and strategy is the question, maybe sell the house uh, cheaper so they can get through more houses faster uh, and therefore their commission rate is going to be a lot better off or do they sell fewer houses but with uh, with a higher price uh, and I think different real estate agents will tackle it a little bit differently so for example if we have one agent um, and for the for $250,000 Two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. They get two percent as a commission, and that uh, accounts to five thousand dollars. So I'm hoping that you know how to get a percentage of something. Okay, so two percent is the same as two over a hundred, and the word of is a multiplication, or two over a hundred in decimal form is 0 0.02 okay and so then you end up getting your 5000 i'm not going to go through the conversion at this stage i'm expecting you to know that um, but then let's say above the 250 uh, he gets an extra four percent okay anything above 250. all right so standalone straight away uh, five to five grand in the pocket, but anything above the two hundred fifty thousand dollar sale, he's going to get an extra four percent off that profit. So let's say that someone sells a house uh, for three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. He knows he's going to get five thousand dollars to begin with. It's definitely over two hundred fifty thousand, but we want to know what his commission is for this um, for the quantity above that. So we're going to subtract two hundred fifty thousand which gives us $120,000 uh, remaining. That's the, that's the extra. That extra just is the same as how we get our 2%. We're going to work out what our 4%, which is 4 over 100, or in decimal form, 0 0.04. And that amounts to uh, 4,800. That's his bonus. So if he's going to get 5,000 to start off with, then he's got 4,800, then you add them together, he will get $9,800 as his commission for selling a house of $370,000. And that's, you know, nearly 10 grand in the pocket. That's uh, nice for, um, for however long. And, you know, again, the same thing, however long it takes for a real estate agent to sell the house, it's not necessarily or once it's on the market, you'll sell it in the next day. It might take weeks. And then so uh, he, he'd really need to figure out that he's pitched it at the right people. They marketed the house well. It sells in a good, uh, good price at a good time. Now let's uh, move on to royalties. Uh, this often um, applies to artists creatives, um, you know, music artists, people who are in movies, in um, uh, people, authors who sell books and things like that. So, you know, they, they get to get uh, permission for, say, the radio to play uh, an artist or musician's uh, music or to play a movie somewhere. Um, those actors, those artists, those um, professionals that were involved in creating those uh, the media uh, will need to get paid royalties. Okay, so they they get uh, a portion out of every single time that their track or their song gets played um, to the public or in an event uh, because it is essentially copyright. You can't just for, for our personal use, which that's that's no problem, but if we're going to be using someone's movie or someone's music or someone's book for uh, any monetary gain, financial gain, then we need to 
get a license uh, to legally actually, yeah, to use that material um, before we can actually, yeah, so things like YouTube can't just rip off uh, snippets of um, music and videos from TV shows and uh, music artists uh, without having uh, the legal rights uh, and license to actually use that material. Uh, otherwise, we can get in quite a bit of trouble. Um, okay, so just now having uh, spoken about royalties, uh, let's uh, look at this uh, guy. I'm going to call him Dan. And he's an author. Okay, he writes books and he gets 10% uh, uh, on all sales of his books. Okay, so however many books that he sells, um, then he's going to get 10% royalties for that. Okay, so he gets in the year. So in, in one year, uh, he ends up selling thirty thousand uh, dollars worth of books. Okay, because um, having the books in the shops, uh, the shops will need to make money, pay the, pay their employees certain rates for working and selling. Uh, there's a deduction for it, but then to uh, put it on the shelf and marketing, advertising, there's there's a lot of expenses involved. But for the right for a bookstore to sell, uh, there's going to be a 10% um, royalty uh, tag on it. So basically 10% of 30,000 is going to give you $3,000. Okay, so Dan gets $3,000 out of that $30,000 sale. We have another author, I call him Bryce, and um, the publisher gives him $500 Per month okay so that's going to be just a, a base pay and but in addition to that uh, there's four and a half percent of royalties uh, based on sales okay because uh, poor Bryce who's an author if he doesn't if <laughs> there's no sales and none of his books get sold uh, he's gonna get nothing it's going to get zero and that's uh, going to be sad. So it's uh, nice that the publisher gives at least $500 per month as uh, financial security. And then the royalties above that is uh, an added, added bonus. So obviously, you know, different to Dan, who's getting 10%. Um, and maybe Dan is just relying on 10% and there is no base figure. So let's say uh, 15, no, let's say $2,000 worth of sales uh, was made in that month, okay, then the question is how much does uh, Bryce here get in total? So we'll have uh, 0.045 in decimal form times 2,000, which is $90, okay, so $90 uh, plus the 500 that he normally gets in a month, it means that he's going to get $590 for that month for selling $2,000 worth of books. Okay, so let's uh, now we've done piecework, we've done commission, we've done royalties, uh, let's move on to loadings. Okay, loadings and bonuses. Uh, you could say it's a little bit uh, similar to special rates and you know, overtime. So uh, in this, but it's obviously not uh, based on time, um, but based on quantities. Okay, so here we have uh, a guy called Rohan, and he's an electrician. He gets paid uh, $38.20 per hour. Okay, and uh, in a 36 hour week. So that's just a normal, a normal week. Okay, um, but there are specific jobs um, as an electrician that are fairly safe um, and standard, but then there are probably more difficult jobs that uh, requires just a different loading. Okay, so there's the word loading uh, or a different rate uh, just for that uh, increase in difficulty. And now the situation uh, depends really from 
from one job to another of what that loading entails. But in this case, uh, we're looking at heights. So, you know, if he needs to bring in a ladder and if he needs to bring other things to access heights or he needs, he needs to work in the roof, perhaps uh, a little bit more difficult to get in there. Uh, is less accessible than just anything that's just on the regular floor and uh, on the wall, uh, then he's going to get paid an extra $2.50 uh, per hour of that loading, of height loading, okay, for working at heights. So the question is, um, if in that week he works 15 hours, uh, at heights, then what is uh, what is the payment? Okay, what does he get paid? Okay, so we know that thirty eight dollars twenty times thirty six is what he's going to get uh, as standard. So one thousand three hundred seventy five dollars and twenty cents is what he's going to get for just normal loadings. But there's going to be an extra $2.50, okay, for 15 hours, which amounts to $37.50 extra. So when we add them all up, $1,412.70 is the payment that he gets uh, for working standard and also at height loadings. Okay, lastly, we're going to look at bonuses and uh, bonuses. Um, let's, uh, let's talk about key performance indicators. Okay, so I don't know if you've heard of KPIs, uh, key performance indicators. So based on how much extra you get to do, uh, you're going to get a, a certain extra amount of payment. So it's it's very similar to, I guess, commission, uh, where you get a certain amount as standard, but then at the end of the year, you get a little bit extra depending on how you perform above just the base standard expectations. Uh, in this case here, we've got a person, Brooke, okay? She's a, an, a CEO of a company, and she gets a very nice lump sum of $240,000 per year. Okay, wish I earned that much. Uh, that would be very, very nice, but that's not the case. Um, okay, so Brooke will receive, this is her bonus rate, and this is really up to her uh, job as a CEO, how well she can actually improve the profit growth of the company, and the, the more successful the company becomes, the bigger the bonus that she gets. So she gets 1% of her salary okay for every percentage so she gets that uh, for every percentage point that company profit increases Okay, so if if the profit for the year uh, gets 50% um, increase in, compared to the previous year, uh, she's going to get, you know, 50% of that profit into of her salary into as a bonus. That's, uh, that's very, very nice. That means it's like an extra $120,000. So let's uh, put it into context here. So uh, we've got uh, 3.1 million, okay, that's one, one profit, uh, sorry, that's the profit from one year, and let's call this uh, in 2020, no, let's call it in 2019, so in 2019, uh, the company got 3.1 million dollars profit. In 2020, uh, the profit grew from one, uh, 3.1 million to 4.4 million. So that means there's, a, there's an extra 1.3 million in profit. So we need to convert, well, what is 1.3 million as a percentage out of 
the original figure, okay? Because that's, uh, that's the comparison. So then what we'll have is 1.3 divided by 4 point, uh, sorry, 3.1. And we want to convert that into a percentage. So multiply by 100. That's going to give us 41.9%. That's a huge uh, profit uh, increase from one in just in within 12 months. And she gets um, that percentage of her salary added as a bonus to her normal yearly rate. So what we want to do is we want to work out what 41.9% of $240,000 is. And to get that percentage, obviously you multiply it. And what it ends up being is $100,560 as added bonus. So what we could say is then, well, what is the amount that she gets in total for that particular year? Well, it's going to be 240000 plus the added bonus which is a massive $340,560. Uh, that's a good yearly pay. But as a CEO, she must uh, be working extremely hard uh, to get that happening. All right, so hopefully that has helped you guys. Uh, that's your piecework, commission, royalties, loadings, and bonuses. Um, feel free to um, yeah, view this video in segments um, and re-watch it. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, see you in the next one.